Hi everybody, glad you're here. Today we're going to be doing this cute little Santa's Helper Elf and it's done in watercolor with a bokeh background. If you see, there's quite a bit of texture in this one and that is salt. So I'm going to show you how we can do that. The whites are done with gouache. I'll show you how to uh, put in the snow effect and the bokeh is actually done with a bit of gouache also. So you'll be needing some salt, some white gouache. If you don't have white gouache, you can use white acrylic. It'll work just as well. I'll be using today alizarin crimson, or if you have a cad red, that will work also. Cobalt blue, greens, which is a Daniel Smith green appetite genuine, or if you have a olive of some sort, we can darken it a little with a, a bit of umber. Uh, some paints, gray or indigo would work also. We'll be needing some of that. And Kenza yellow. This is done on 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. So get your stuff ready and we'll uh, have fun doing this one. Maybe I'll do blue, yellow, blue, yellow and a touch of crimson maybe. Just experiment. Um, you could do this on a separate piece of paper if you want to just try to do something a little different. And all I do is I take, um, this is a number 8, you could take a 10 or a 12, whatever you want to use. I'm just going to wet areas. So you want to wet the area that is in the background, but try and stay away from the clothes, the face, the hat. We don't want to go on top of that. We just want to do the area around the elf. And you can just do bits at a time too because by the time you go over <clears throat> all of this with um, water, you'd probably have to go over it again because it'd be dry. Now I'm going to go into her body a little bit and in between her arms here. So you want to see a sheen on your paper. Okay so I just have this done. So I'm going to, <clears throat> this is the um, pom-pom so it's going to be white so don't necessarily want um, the white to be there so maybe I'll do green so let's get this um, and I'm just gonna swipe it around I think I want it more dark on the corners and then I'm going to take uh, some of this yellow just dab it in Maybe some of this, a little bit different a color. So we don't want it too um, light around this puff of her hat, a little pom-pom. A little in there.
Okay, so now I'm going to take um, some salt. <clears throat> I've got table salt, salt here. You get, you can get um, sea salt, whatever you want. Before this gets too dry, you don't want to put it in puddles because it won't do much on puddles. But where it's just starting to lose its sheen, just don't put a whole lot because less is more actually with the salt. So just place some salt on those areas that are just starting to lose its sheen. I'm just checking. Now with you when you're doing this, you don't want to use your heat gun or your your um, air dryer. You have to let it dry on its own. This is why I made it a video because <laughs> it's going to take a while for this to dry. Now I'm only using uh, 190 pound or not 140 pound watercolor paper. So it's going to um, take a little while to dry. So just leave it, set it aside, and we'll be back real soon. Alrighty, so I have my paper dry. As you can see, there's some really nice salt marks. Not on all of it. Notice up here, this was drier. Um, it had a very, very faint sheen to it when I put the salt on. And as you can see, there's hardly any kind of salt um, patterns. So now what I want to do is I'm going to just um, wipe the salt off. So there's our, got a little bit, not a whole lot on the top there. So what I did for the um, background is I put another layer of paint on top and did another application of the uh, salt, basically. So you can put this, either the same colors in the same areas or you can mix it up. So if you know your color combinations, you'll know that if you put um, this reddish pink color over yellow, it's going to go more into an orange. Same with if you use um, red and green, you're going to get into more of a darker brown color. So th keep that in mind when you're going to do it, or you don't have to. Um, we'll put the circles, the bokeh part in it um, once we're done. So I think I'm going to make up a, a little bit of my colors here. I'm going to use the same colors. So let's see what we can do here. Maybe I want a little bit more blue in this area here. Now blue and pink make purple. Let's put a little bit of blue over that pink in some areas. We'll add a little more blue in here, but I'm going to add some of it over the pink. And Probably the uh, So now the bokeh effect. 
Now what I do is I find a stencil brush or a Deerfoot stippler. And if you have any stencils that have round circles. So this is the one I use here. It's got a variation. So the idea is not to make them uniform or, or evenly spaced. Bokas are usually bunched up in different colors. So what I do is I take my stencil and I'll start off, oh, I'm not going to go really big. Let's start off with uh, this one here. And I take a wet, I wet my brush. Don't have it sopping wet though. And go around in a circle. Scrub. Don't scrub too hard though. She'll end up uh, peeling the paper. And then you just pat. Do it again. Pat. And it removes the paint for your first layer. Now you will get a little bit of peeling, or pilling, I guess you call it. But you want to be able to get, not right down to white, but you want a, a lighter color than what was there. So then I take another size and do another one. Rinse your brush because it gets uh, paint color on it. So if you rinse it, it cleans the paint color. Otherwise, you're just putting the paint color back in. There. Now, what I did was, once I got some of these put in, then I take my gouache, this is poster paint, and a wet brush, and I want only a few, but some, start from the middle and work out. Don't have too much paint on your brush though it'll go underneath. You kind of want to do that over top. Some areas not like right over the face or anything but um, just do a few so that they're more bright. So maybe I would want say this one here have to be careful not to have too much water on your brush or it'll seep. Now I like overlapping the brighter ones on some of the of the other ones. It makes them look like they're in front and they're more bright ones that are in front. So I can brighten these up more. So let's, uh, you have to wait till they're dry though. And this one, brighter. And I think I need one more. 
in here. So maybe right here. Okay, so the last thing that I did also was I added snow. And I just uh, got a some kind of bristle brush, some gouache. Wet my brush a little bit. And you can cover your face up if you don't want anything on there. And just splatter. And then you can always wipe up bigger areas that you don't like easy enough. There. And there she is. She's done. Have a great day everybody. Bye for now.